Hello folks and welcome to OnlineGroomingSchool.com Our topic for today is how to remove a tick from a dog. So what I'm going to do is show you a quick video on it rather than talk to you about it. Okay, and I'll, then I'll tell you where I, I got this video from. So here we go. So here we have a tick, and a tick is uh, relatively larger than, than, a, than the average flea. You can see, you can actually see the little legs, you know. Um, if you can hold them straight, I'm going to zoom in on it. There you go. Okay. All right. The important thing about a tick is you want to remove, remove the head as well. You don't want to leave the head in there because then it relieves room for infection. So it looks like the tick has embedded itself this way, so you have to remove them out like that. You don't want to go against anything. All right, so here yeah, we go. Move them downward. Yes. I know, sweetheart. I know it hurts. All right, so we're going to go ahead and grab them. We're going to pull them out. Ouch. See? Ow, so ow, there's ow. no head left in there. Uh huh. And can, um, can I see this guy on yeah, the video? Yeah, let's kill this little sucker. Ugh. There, I kind of smushed him, but. Basically, um, a lot of times they come bigger than this. Uh, you'll get like big females that are pregnant. They look, they're like gray in color. And then what you do with the, with the ticks afterwards, you just get you know, a little container with uh, bleach or alcohol and you leave them in there until you've gotten them all out. And then you just flush them down the toilet and tell the client that we found a couple of bleach, I mean ticks. The rule of thumb is a couple of ticks is okay to remove. Anything excessive after, let's say five ticks, then you can start charging your customers because they can take a long time. A lot of times what they'll do, you'll have the baby ticks, the smaller ticks in between toes, and you have to remove those one by one. A lot of times they're around the muzzle um, and the nose area, so you have to remove those one by one. Uh, if you had excessive ticks, then we would go ahead and do a chemical flea dip, on uh, a uh, uh, tick dip, and go from there. So, uh, Do they actually have tick dips? If it's bad, because if there's a lot of, sometimes you'll find clusters of them, the smaller ones, and you want to go ahead and do the chemical bleed up to kill them off and then you start removing them. Okay, well thank you so much, Yvonne. You're welcome. Okay, folks, I hope you enjoyed that little segment. And again, my name is George. I'm right here. My number, if you have any questions, onlinegroomingschool.com. You should check it out. You can become a certified pet hygienist, certified pet groomer from the comfort of your home. We have a special going on. Maybe you want to look at this video real quick. Also, if you'd like, you can uh, get your 500-page ebook, My Dog Grooming Guide, for free. Just take a free test drive, right? And through the password, I saw you on Craigslist, submit form. Here you are. So glad you decided to take your free test drive, receive your free 500 page ebook, learn and make money. You click here. While it's downloading, folks, uh, you might want to browse around and see what you get, right? It's kind of cool. You can watch a full clip here Poodle Grooming in a kennel clip. This is 44 minutes long. Watch the whole thing. Don't forget the popcorn, right? The book, I just clicked it just to show you a little bit. It takes a little time. It's in PDF form, third edition. Over 160 breeds, how to groom each one of them. Step-by-step -step instruction. Yours for free, online, groomingschool.com. Thank you for watching.